Hello everyone, my name is Illuminated and welcome to Sable. This is an open world action adventure game set in a very beautifully rendered desert landscape. You play as Sable, a young girl who is about to embark on a gliding ceremony, a rite of passage that will see her leave her home and explore the world beyond. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, subscribe if you are new, let's start the game. This is our character. Should I be moving now? Move? No? Alright. There we go. Moving Sable. Use L to move Sable. Alright. If I can jump. Crouch. Alright. What else? And we have a map. Settings. Inventory. Alright. And clothing. Child's mask, a blank looking mask worn by all children of the dunes. Most kids customize theirs for fun, but more traditional clans frown on that sort of self-expression, of course. Ibexi children top, my old Ibexi top and hood, a hand, a hand me down from Yara. The scratchiness reminds me of home. Ibexi trousers, comfy sandals for exploring sandy places, easy to get sand out of, but not the best for climbing. Well, why are you wearing them then? Because we're going to be doing a lot of climbing, right? No? Yeah, like this. Alright, so what's the deal with that big face? That big head? Alright. Let's continue. Alright, so what is this? And the door is open. Jumping. Press cross to jump. Alright. So where do you want me to jump? No fall damage. That's great. Climbing move, for, uh, move uh, towards a wall to begin climbing. Keep an eye on your stamina. Alright. Is there anything here? No. All right, so I guess we got to climb up that ladder. Let's go. Crouching. All right, press circle to crowd. Hmm. All right, guess we got to go way over there. Where, where's the smoke? Probably a fire. And we have a balloon. Alright, let's go down. No fall damage. Yeah. Sprinting, hold R2. Hold down R2 to sprint while moving around. You can only sprint while you have enough stamina. Alright, let's try it out. You Bexy cap. Oh, we're already here. Can I climb up here? Yes, I can. Man, I guess working hard. I can feel JD or Jody smiling behind her mask. Just as just as I know, she can feel the teeth bearing little grimace behind mine. I'm nervous, and she's softly, sweetly amused. In her eyes, I probably have little to worry about. 
You know you have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? Hmm. Answer, and yet, dot dot dot, I know, I know. I'm not worried. Am I worried? I don't know. I'm not worried. I tell her I'm not worried at all, and it's possibly the least convincing I've ever been. You can say that, my love. But I do know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you've started. And then you'll act like uh, you've been doing it your whole life. Doing what though? Remember the first time you rode a bike? You wouldn't even let me put you on the seat. You were so afraid. Your hands were little, like little claws gripping onto mine. I feel the memory in my fingers. But then I promised you it was going to be alright. I told you how much I had loved riding my bike as a young woman and how wonderful the wind felt through fabric. Suddenly, there you were. You sat down, you leaned forward and put those little grasping claws on the handles and you were off. And I remember thinking, just watching you tear over the sand. Look at, look at her. She can do whatever she wants. JD reaches out and places a hand on the edge of my mask. And you can, and you can, Sable. I take a breath. I think I'm ready. I don't know where to start. I don't know where to start. JD's story warms me, but I feel too overwhelmed to let it settle. I tell her with a sigh that I don't know where to begin. She chuckles. Well, I can help with that. You'll need to talk to Hilal and Driss. Driss should already have made the arrangements for your bike, and Hilal will share something. Well, let's say as useful as it is fun, huh? I think I might suspect what uh, JD is saying, but I stay quiet. After that, I suppose we'll see you off. I'll be back soon. What if I choose the wrong path? I asked JD what will become of me if I choose the wrong path. There are no wrong paths, Sable. All right ones. I'll be glad if you choose to stay with the Ibexi, but truth be told, I'll be glad no matter what. So long as you're happy. Whatever you decide, you, you do so with my blessing. So don't try using me as an excuse to come home early, eh? She knows me. Now go speak with Ilal. I'll be there to see you off. And speak to Driss as well. I've told him to arrange your bike with Ciso, but you know how he is. I have something to give you. A compass to help you on your journey. It's the same one I used on my gliding. An artifact, you might say. I take the device in my palm. It, it, it fits naturally there. Perfectly weighted and crafted. Each component slides together with incredible, satisfying precision. Thank you. Alright. Quest updated. The ceremony. L1 to bring up the compass. I need to complete fast for Hilal and Driss. And they are over there. Okay. Well, can I talk to you some more? JD greets me warmly. Hello, little glider. Uh, it's so strange getting called that. That's a big glider to you. Yeah, it's kind of strange. I tell JD how strange it is being called Glider instead of Sable or even Clenchild. Just trying to get you used to it. She seems to, re to really like it and maybe I like it too. My little Glider. Okay. Anything else? Uh, what was your gliding like? I asked JD about her gliding. Tell you that. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you when you get back. I cross my arms in protest. Not all you want, I don't want to spoil any surprises. He lowers the voice to a whisper. But I did meet some crystal farmers once. Crystal farmers? And that's all I, I'll say about that. You should get going. Alright. Let's go explore some more. Crystals. Alright. So this is where we came from. Was there anything else here? Probably not, huh? I'll take a look. Wait, control is uh, vibrating. Uh, but she ran out of breath. That's why. Are there any collectibles here? Anything to collect? Yep, this is the Ibex, Ibex camp. And what is that? Glowing stuff. Hmm, okay. Careful. Oh, 
All right, so there's one person here and up there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? Stop that. Can I go up there, please? Go. All right. Hi. As I approached Hilal, they gave uh, okay, they give an enthusiastic wave. I've always appreciated Hilal's verve and vigor, and on a day like this, I'm ready to match it with a touch of nerves for balance. They both take this gliding so stone. Hilal hands me a small round stone. As it nettle nettles into nestles into my palm, I feel a warmth, not borrowed from Hilal's hands, but emanating from within. I run my thumb over it and find it softly electric, like static on cloth. Uh, what is this? Yeah. I try to sound less confused than I am, but ask the Elal what this is. Oh, Sable, you can't leave without it. What I've just given you is a gliding stone. What do you feel? Uh, I tell Elal that I feel... Electricity. Then you're doing it right. What you feel in that stone is openness. I look at the stone. It seems quite closed. Gliding stones are vessels for the perpetual. They suck up its power like little sponges and hold it there for you to channel. Right now it's empty or dormant and waiting for you to fill it up. I asked how I can do this. Take you to the temple ruins at the edge of the canyon. You'll be able to activate it there. Yilal claps their hands twice and bobs a little. I appreciate their good mood at a time like this. Come back to me once that's done. I want to hear all about it. As I'm about to leave, Hilal stops me. Oh, you haven't gotten your bike yet, have you? It's a bit of a track to the temple. So go see Driss. He was meant to get that ready for you, yes? I remember Jade's words now and tell Hilal I'll go and see Driss. Alright, Whispering Stones view. Quest updated, alright. Well, let's go see Driss for our bicycle. Wait, wait. We think we have loot here. 20, 20 what? 20 something. Okay, why is the controller vibrating here? Like, oh, it must be the wind? I don't know. Alright, let's go. Let's go see Driss. Logging in. Hello, Sable. On red messages, zero. Have a good day. All right, so this is like a mailbox. All right. Let's go see Driss. Are these animals? Uh-oh. What? Bro. Oh, there's someone over there. Hi. Umar is a man of few words, and he's nothing if not consistent. Yeah. Okay, Umar. Umar doesn't want to talk. Can we pet these animals? No. Can we ride these animals? No. And these animals are useless. Yes. Alright. I need to go over there. Wait, wait, wait. Activate the gliding stone. Hold on. Let's choose this instead. Okay. Because yeah, I gotta go see Hilal first. And he, he's over there. <laughs> what are you thinking about? Hi. Though I've told myself not to be too eager, it's all I can do not to race up to Driss. Driss is the, is the camp manager. He's been difficult to get a hold of lately. 
But now I strongly suspect that he's been working on my bike in secret. Perhaps it's extra beautiful or has some custom feature. What will its name be, I wonder? How fast will it go? Will my legs feel sore or will I get used to it? Chris turns with a bit of a start. Sable, er, hello. Oh, uh, hello, how are you today? I was told you have something special for me. Yes. I tell Driss that I was told he had something special for me. Something special. I nod very meaningfully, but he doesn't seem to get the hint. I make a leading gesture, slowly trying to be per perfectly cool and confidential. But I can't do it. I'm just too keen. And the words spill out. I asked Driss if he might, sort of, possibly, maybe, have a bike for me. Your bike? He yells it like it's an idea he's just had. Your bike, yes, of course, right. Yes, your bike. That I was meant to... That I prepared for you because today is your... Birthday? Gliding, yes. Did you forget? In abject horror, I gently asked if he may have forgotten. What? What? I would never. It's obviously I have your bike. By which I mean I arrange it for you. In a, well, it's sort of a tutorial for you. A tutorial. Yes, exactly. Uh, a learning experience. You see, Sable, before one can own their own bike, they must prove that they can ride a bike by taking a test ride or a different bike. I think about it and find I've never heard of that part of the gliding, but Drist does seem earnest, sort of. So instead of worrying about your bike, I'd like you to try this bike as a test. Drist gestures to the sand cutter at his side. I'm quite old and a little shape shabby. A tester if I ever seen one. I'll give it a go. Alright. Really, I mean it. I mean yes. Good. Be gentle though. This sand cutter is older than JD. You treat her with respect. Now ride the bike through the ring and back. And here's some advice for you, my young glider. Don't fall off. Don't lose your bike. When you're not riding it, your hover bike will appear as a blue icon on your compass. Alright, let's try it out. So this is my hover bike. Alright. Ride the sand cutter. It's definitely, definitely not a test. Alright. I know I don't ride a bike. It's a little slow though. Like very slow. Alright, let's uh ride through this and be done with the test. Hey, we made it. I should speak to Driz. That was very very easy. Very simple. I don't think this hover bike is working properly. Hey, Driss. I return to Driss, with some, who somehow manages to seem caught off guard despite knowing I was coming. Sable, congratulations. I was your first pre glide ride. Any strange rattles? Unexplained hissing? Small fires? Small. What do you mean, fires? Surely you'd notice if you were on fire even a little bit. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, what was that a possibility? Well, obviously it didn't happen, so I think we're fine. Driss, is this bike dangerous? Well, it doesn't finish. Have you already been to buy Hilal? I think I have. Alright. Am I not getting a bike? Well, you're getting the use of this sand cutter. That's something, hey? You can borrow it to run your little errands. My little errands. And hilal has got something to show you, too. Help you out with more of that uh, mobility you after. With my confidence in this uh, exercise only lightly tarnished, I thank Driss very much for his help and his bike, and I depart for Hilal. I think we we done talking to Hilal though, right? Let's ride the bike to wait quest to to the to the temple, right? Activate the gliding stone at the altar. Alright, and the altar is that way. Alright, let's go. So it's right over there. Is it nighttime right now? It is right. It is nighttime. So we do have a day night cycle. Is that the time right now? 22 hours? Alright. Let me 
Looks like the the map should be going that direction. And then I'll get there eventually. Alright, let's stop here. Oh wait, never mind, we're not stopping, there's nothing. I was hoping there would be something there, but there's nothing obviously. So we're gonna cup uh, we're gonna keep going. Oh careful now. Should I go? Oh, I see something over there. Let's go check it out. Oh, let's give the bike here. Hurry up. There. Keep on going. Almost there. Hey bird, get out of here. Why are we wearing a mask? I think everyone's wearing a mask here. Okay. Ooh, careful. Wow, what a terrible accident. Could have broke something, man. Alright, run, run. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Just out of breath. You good? Hope we'll be able to upgrade your stamina. The stone thrones like the beat of a heart as I approach the altar. I am afraid, exhilarated, or maybe it feels right. It feels right? Exhilarated. I am ready for Rohana to know me. I am ready to know myself. I feel her curiosity in this sacred place. I know I am in her sight. happening. I think we're about to level up. Okay, get up. Come on, you can do it. Let's go. Oh my gosh, she, she doesn't look okay. Are you hurt? All right, press and hold the uh, cross to glide in midair. Midair, all right, let's go, let's glide. Very easy, all right. Personal, oh yeah, yeah. Let's uh, up here. And what else? Should I go over there? All right. 
because this is going to be really useful. But are we going to have other powers though, besides gliding? Because I like to be able to run faster, or at least have more stamina. And we made it. And we need to, yeah, show Yilal. We got to go back to Yilal. And my bike is somewhere here. And we're good. All right, let's go back to Yilal. Careful. Hey, I can glide now. Chris asked me a series of incre increasingly strange questions before I make an excuse to take my leave. <laughs> okay. Got nothing to say. 